Good morning, you guys, and happy Monday. It is Monday, right? I believe it's Monday. I'm using the new bread machine, and it's so quiet. I know it doesn't sound quiet right now, but this is much quieter than the old one. But check it out. So awesome. I'm very excited about this, you guys. I just don't even know. This is a great Monday. But I don't have anywhere to put it, so I had to do it here, and it's just like hanging off the counter. So yeah, that's fun. Okay, so the bread is done. It only took three hours instead of four hours. And it kind of stinks because um, it didn't rise. The yeast is not bread machine yeast, I believe. So that's why that's happening. But it's also like a lot whiter of a loaf, which is kind of fun. So that's exciting. And I also made dinner. And you might be wondering why I have the bread in the laundry room because I don't have any counter space for the bread machine. So I had it here and then I had to move it so I can make Tim's coffee because he drinks coffee when he gets home. And here is our dinner, which is so exciting. Here's some better lighting. It's um, Chinese food. I got some P.F. Chang stuff on clearance. I guess they're not making this flavor anymore. I think it's called General Chang's Chicken. It's like a sweet and spicy chili. Oh, and then I put it over brown rice and it looks delicious. I'm home. Yeah. So every day I sit on the couch and uh, every day that I go to stand up, I push down on this floorboard right here and it is going to fall through the floor. Creaks. Because this is where the fire was. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you guys, uh, we haven't been doing very much lately because I've been getting off of work so late. So we've been watching a lot of TV and I wanted to know what TV shows you guys are into right now because for us there's nothing. Like we watch The Simpsons, American Dad, the cartoons, you know? Uh, what else? Bob's Burgers? That kind of thing. Good stuff. And then we're watching this. What's this show called? I don't actually know. So, I have this acquaintance who uh, every holiday season makes jelly. And she made us champagne jelly, which she made before. It's looking kind of funky right now. It's like melted. Uh, and it, for whatever reason, I can never remember what it actually tastes like. So I'm kind of interested in trying it again. But I remember it being horrible, so I don't want to try it again, but I'll do it for you guys. But first, we have to cut up the bread that Jen made, and uh, we don't know where the other half of the knife is. Because we like to use the electric knife because it follows the grooves better for cutting perfect slices. Uh, I don't know where the blades are. They're somewhere in this household, I believe. It's always the best when you're like, we need to find something, and then two seconds later you find it. That just happened. I was telling Jen that if we slice the whole thing in half, then it would become like a normal slice of bread, and I believe that I am correct. Yeah, I think so. This new bread maker makes surprisingly smooth loaves of bread. Like, this is a really smooth crust. Look at it, it has like a shine to it. It's fancy. It smells like just, it smells like straight alcohol almost. But I don't, <laughs> I feel like she didn't make this out of champagne itself, because like champagne's not red, but Maybe she just started using red wine. She's like, eh, just red wine. Call it champagne. Wish me luck. Tastes like I'm eating champagne on toast. This is very bizarre. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's not toast, it's just bread. It's like having a New Year's party in my mouth. I feel like she changed the recipe or something because Last year, I remember tasting it and being like, oh god, this is the worst thing I've ever had, but this year it was kind of like, this is not so bad. Either that or I'm just like really old now. Yeah, I'm geez. one year older, one year wiser. Rock and roll star, king, czar, and a kaiser. <laughs> My taste buds what? They, you've uh, matured. My taste buds have matured. So we have this organ, right? Like, and it works now, by the way. Totally awesome, full bass style. Right? Full bass on boogie woogie bass. Uh, right? Pretty awesome, huh? So, but all that to say that there are hinges on the top here, and I wanted to look inside of it, but I can't, it doesn't open. So I think that these two screws right here have to come out, and then I can open it. So I'm gonna give it a try. I wanna look in there and see what it's all about. Shall we? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that! That's awesome! Wow! That is intense. That has got to be the coolest thing that I've ever seen in my life. 
Look at the, the keys and everything. This is awesome. Wow. Just imagine what it takes to know like, all right, all these resistors together will make a crazy sound. This is awesome. What about the switches? Can you see the switches back there? No, it's too dark? All right. I feel like I showed you guys this already, but there's our fans that we got from the Home Depot. That's just one of them. It's the only one that I've put up. It doesn't do anything because there's not a switch or any power there, but there it is. I think it's nice. For 50 bucks? Heck yeah. Well, I might as well face it. I'm addicted to champagne jelly and taking apart organs. Now it's time to go to bed, so I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.